What's going on, 5 Strat fam? AJ here with another Transfer Daily. MLS might actually happen on time in 2021, but it's pending a vote by the MLSPA on the new CBA. Let's get to the latest on the rumor mill, though. Atlanta United have reportedly been approached by Newell's old boys for a loan for Franco Escobar with an option to buy, says Cesar Luis Merlo. Escobar's cover photo on Twitter recently was changed to Newell's old boys stadium, which fed speculation. Ezekiel Barco on Saturday said his goodbyes to Franco Escobar on his IG story. The deal was then reported by Felipe Cardenas to be done, sending him back to NOB. Rob Ussery also tweeted saying the Aberdeen FC right back Ronald Hernandez rumors are true, according to a club source. So cover for the right back position could be coming after Escobar leaves. Cesar Luis Merlo also reports an agreement between River Plate and Atlanta United has been reached for Santiago Sosa to be sold for $6 million for 70% of his rights. Pending a medical, Sosa will sign a five-year contract with Atlanta United. Sosa himself also confirmed the move on Argentine local television. He said, I just said goodbye to the squad and the technical staff. It's my turn to leave for a new destination. I haven't talked to Gabriel Hainsey. On to Eric Rometty, Independiente have made an offer to Atlanta for a loan fee of $120,000 and an option to buy for more than $1 million, says German Garcia Grova. The Argentine would be surplus to requirements if all the other rumors are true for Sosa and Ibarra. Piti Martinez back to MLS. Cincy Soccer Talk reported with multiple league sources that the former Atlanta United midfielder would be joining FC Cincinnati as Al Nasser and FC Cincy apparently struck a deal. This comes after it was rumored Al Nasser weren't making payments for their players on a consistent basis. However, PT posted on his IG story that he's happy at Al Nasser and to not believe everything on social media. His reported return to MLS seems to have a wrinkle. Did anyone ask PT? And finally, to the newest name linked, Atlanta United have agreed in principle to a fee of three and a half million for Defensa y Justicia central defender Hector David Martinez, says German Garcia Groba. It would be a four-year contract for the 5'11", 23-year-old Argentine. The contract length would help spread out the transfer fee to help keep him likely a TAM player. In just August 2020, 50% of his rights were sold to Defensa for $900,000 from River Plate. Martinez has a sweet left foot, it seems, able to play out from the back and pick out a pass. Beautiful long diagonals and through balls in behind for the striker, the left side of our defense could be a force. He also reads the game well, positionally sound while intercepting and tackling adeptly. Martinez also won the 2020 Sudamericana with Defensa, the second most prestigious competition in South America. So how will Atlanta fit all these players with a limited number of international spots? Our green card lawyers are no doubt working overtime. But what do you guys think of all these rumors? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.